Hello everyone. Uh, this is a quick video to kind of give you an overview of how to uh, bootstrap homework one. So this is your uh, home page of uh, the course, the one that is only available for our students. Uh, and you should go over here where it says HW1 for homework one and click it and then you will see three files. First file is the homework assignment, uh, the the PDF that explains how you do uh, the assignment and there's a little button here to download plus you can always um, download the whole repository if you want uh, so this is a git repository and you should be uh, just google how to download how to check out a git uh, repository and then you can keep it synchronized with the latest version that we have here um, so the other file I have is hw1.rkt and this should be your uh, solution. This is where you're going to write out all your solution. Feel free to ignore uh, this first line. And then basically everything, every place where you see to do uh, is what you're supposed to do. So you're supposed to write something here in front of like, exercise one, two, and three. You might need to change the definition itself um, all according to what is asked in the PDF. Okay, so the last thing that you'll see here is tests minus the HW1 bracket, which uh, you should use to um, to run tests to make sure your solution is right if you want to do it locally in your own computer, if you don't want to submit it to Gradescope. Uh, and the idea is that we will use our forum to discuss and improve the tests. If we can find more tests, that's fine. Feel free to share them on the Discord channel or create an issue to add more tests. And then I'll update this file and you can copy paste from here. Again, please do not share or distribute these, do not make these tests available in public places because this is really important for other students in next semester to learn. Um, one, one important task is really to learn how to write tests and, and think in terms of tests. So it's, it's good to leave this as a private just for our course. Okay, so we have these three files. The next thing you want to be doing is you want to upload uh, you you want to upload homework one dot record to Gradescope. And if you do so, I'm not going to show you how to sub upload the file because my interface is a bit different than yours, as you might see from what you see here on the bottom and over here on the left. But basically, if you upload, you will see something like this, where you'll have your name here and then your score. Currently, I have zero. And the only thing I did was I uploaded a file hw1.racket. And if you do that, you will see that there's a bunch of output. You won't see this, I think, or I hope. It's a bit weird that it shows that. Um, basically, what you'll see is this. Um, what is important here is I would like you to try to follow this link. So copy paste that. And if you do so, you will be met with this um, web page. And the web page simply gives you two uh, expressions, one that is necessary for exercise one and the other one for exercise two. Uh, and now I'm going to come back to this in a moment. So for now, let's just move on to the PDF. And I'm going to open the PDF directly in the browser, and you can do that. So if you go here, what you will see is that you have uh, part one and part two. And at this point, uh, as of Wednesday, you should be able to do the whole thing. Um, so let's go through the various exercises. Um, what I request you to do is, while you're doing the homework and you have questions about this, um, any of the exercises, please create an issue uh, in the um, issue tracker if you have a question. So that would be here. And if you assign it to... Um, to a milestone, so namely we have a milestone here for homework one, you'll see that you'll have questions that are open and closed just for this particular homework. And you can see all of them here, and you can see the ones that are uh, that haven't been answered, the ones that are that have been answered, and so on. And the ones that are there's some discussion going on. So it's a pretty nice interface. You can access it through milestones. Otherwise, um, you can always uh, just click on the milestone right here. 
So make sure when you create an issue, assign it to milestone um, of the particular homework you're, you're solving. Um, okay, so I kind of digressed a bit on milestones. Let's go back to the PDF. So repository, let's go to homework one. Okay, so for this exercise, you should uh, basically you have that uh, mathematical expression, which is given here. And the idea is you have to translate this to record and you have to translate it one by one. So if you see a division, you have to write a division. So any expression that is here, like one caveat is that you should, should be one to one. Right, so any expression, and these are all function calls, so you should look at the lecture videos for le function calls. Uh, so you will not, the only literals you'll see is like 10, 5, but if you see like 5 divided by 2, you should count that as a function call and not the literal 2 divided by 4. Okay, so that's kind of like an, the only caveat I can remember. So one very important thing is to remember that 2 plus 3, this is, this is a, an exercise to think about the syntax of things and that means the order in which the various tokens appear so if in the mathematical expression you see five times six and you write six times five that is wrong and you get zero points in the hole or you might even get a partial answer but um, you get this part wrong so you have to put it exactly in the same order that appears in the in your um, you know in your page so the exercise that is given to you each student has a different one, by the way. So uh, this is this note. And then here uh, on B, basically what I'm asking you to do is um, write the um, derivation. And there's a whole lecture just doing that. Uh, and you should write a list and an item per um, evaluation step. So this should go instead of uh, the to-do that you have here. So I'm going to open it again just to make sure everyone, everything is clear. So in exercise two, now you see a to-do, and then you, the idea is you should replace this to-do by that list and put the various steps of your, uh, where you take the expression in exercise one and you go step by step. Okay. And then we can go to... Um, so exercise two is that Python code that I showed you. So Python code is this. And if you know, I hope you everyone knows Python, but if they don't, please contact me. And I can give you an equivalent in Java or your favorite language or even C. The idea is to translate this one to one again. So as you can see here, uh, you're expected to write, we'll see, you're expected to write a function definition and this is in bold because some people get confused and they talk about function declaration. And those are different subjects, so please revise the lectures to make sure you're using the right thing. Um, and you should have exactly the same thing. So you should have uh, exercise three, and then you should have two parameters, and your code should return this expression, right? So um, by the same order, and the parentheses are making things um, explicit so i hope there's no there should be no ambiguity here if there is please contact me okay so that's it for this uh part for the second part what you're supposed to do is um basically you are given some code the question mark here you can ignore it just saying that in the in the listing that is given in the web page so um in this case wait sorry not in the web page right here on the bottom <laughs> should be, this should be listing one that is here okay so the idea is you should translate this code that is written in python into racket according to um, user data structures that we learned in the lecture there's a video just dedicated on encoding set and get and all that but it should be a one-to-one -one, again one-to-one -one on how do you represent the data structure and the constructor and the accessors of that constructor and then a transliteration of this code as well okay we're not checking that you're doing um, you know one-to-one -one translation 
essentially we're, we're looking just at the, uh, as long as you get the semantics right that's fine so as long as as the functions are doing what they're expected to do uh, that's fine so you could change the order but don't try to think about what the algorithm is doing just try to translate the algorithm that's kind of like the high level advice i give to students and then the last bit with the lambda question mark and symbol and all that stuff this is to parse this is the last video that i um that i this is the video of wednesday so you'll see that uh, when that comes out and basically all the um, it it's basically functions that are you get gi given a, um, a parsed or a quantum which is just a result of quote uh, which is taught in that lecture. Uh, how do you uh, identify if a certain structure matches the, the, the various syntactic uh, terms that we defined in this module? So those are expression, lambdas, applies, applies function call, and so on. Uh, so the idea is to do that. Um, that's basically it.